we have here a closer look at the relay, which is the most important part of the whole system. Uh, we have here opened the relay, what was in the FJ Cruiser for many years. And what we see basically is this is a special relay because it had two bond wires. What we have here, the advantage of this technology, what we use is we have much more performance than a relay what only has one copper bridge. Okay. So we can really uh, load it up to 200 amps continuous and short time 500 amps, so what you, is a lot. So you're saying that usually other brands have only one of those connections? That's and not correct, two? yes. That means they look the same from outside, but they can only handle 120 amps. Ah, but so we saying, have a, okay. a full 200 amp relay. Okay. And this technology what we have here is also used in the other product, is the DBR product. Okay. So if we look into it, the difference to the classic relay is what we have here, is there is a circuit board in here with a microcontroller, but the relay technology is exactly the, the same. same. Okay. This is the more simple technology to the IBS-DBS system because it has no monitor inside. Oh, this okay. is just an underbonded unit with emergency link function button. So this system has been in my cars for almost four years, but it still looks brand it new. It looks, it looks excellent. So, so it, that will go another five okay, years, so ten can, years without uh, any problem. We can see that it has some of the use marks here. Yes. But all the contact points are still clean. So basically yeah. the wires are clean. It just has some little bit copper corrosion because yeah. of some this maybe. This is moisture that um, can happen. May, yeah. Maybe river, river crossing in the wadi or something like that. Yes. So mm -hmm. this relay goes for another many years okay. without any problem. So with the kit, it comes with a five year warranty because everything is made in uh, Switzerland. It's that's correct, it's yes. made in your factory in Switzerland. Yeah? It's correctly. We make it and we offer worldwide five years warranty on the products. That's good. And Rayvon backs it up because we are authorized distributor. So any warranty that IBS provides, we can you can uh, get that warranty in our doorstep. So you don't have to go back to the factory. We will provide the warranty for you. So your car doesn't have any downtime. So yeah, so let's uh, let's again look in more detail in the monitor system and we can uh, head back to the car and discuss what the monitor functions are. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at what the monitor system offers because we had the look at the relay part. Now the second part is the monitor which sits inside your cabin and you interact with it. So Mr. Beat will walk you through the features it offers. Yeah, uh, I have to explain basically in Australia many years ago I was stranding with uh, my 60 series Land Cruiser with two flat batteries and oh, okay. I did not have such a system. Okay. And this situation did lead to the development of this product. So all the things I was missing is now in this product. So, so when you were in your Land Cruiser 60 series in Sahara with just two batteries and nothing, so uh, uh, just give the audience a reason why you should uh, use a dual battery system because a lot, a lot of them have the misconception that just having two batteries is enough uh, by just a standard uh, series connection. And uh, let's explain why our dual battery system is much better. The reason for a dual battery system is that when you have starting problems, you always have a safe battery what you can use okay. to link for helping to start the battery to get your car running again. Okay. And this was the problem I had in Australia. I was just not able to push the button and link the two batteries together. Okay, so in, uh, in your scenario, the main battery was down, but you're, you had power in auxiliary battery. That's correct, yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, because I did not have at that time an IBS system, I had to make bridge wires okay. to get enough power to start once more again. Oh, so you had to basically make a jumper cable out of That's correct. some wires available. And this is a bad feeling when you're <laughs> far away from anywhere, when you have to take out cables <laughs> and making uh, jumper cables yourself. Yeah, we, we understand that that's a so I think scenario. We go through the basic functions of all the features I was missing. Okay. So the main reason in Australia was I could not figure out that my alternator was dying okay. because in our system here we have here the charge indication what tells me all the time if the alternator is properly charging oh okay. the second thing is i had no information about the charge level of my batteries that's okay. the reason why we have here a very simple reading it is with colored yellow green and red leds so everyone can properly read it even without reading a manual Yes, yes. So you push display, you see exactly what happens to your batteries. It's super easy. Okay. So even the alternator charging function, I can just press the display and see if the alternator is outputting no, the, the correct. The alternator feature is always showing. As okay. soon as the engine is running, you that's have here the alternator reading. Oh, that's that's very handy. That's, that's very, very practical. Handy. Yes. Yeah. And then the most important function is the manual uh, 
link function okay. for emergency starting. So whenever you have troubles, you just activate the link function and with the help of your auxiliary battery, you can start your car. Okay, and one of the main functions of the system is uh, when you're going camping that when your car is on, both the batteries are linked together always automatically uh, by the computer itself. And once you turn off the car, it after a few seconds delay, it delinks the both battery banks. That is the auxiliary battery bank and the main battery bank is no longer coupled together. So whatever accessories you have, for example, in our FG Cruiser, personally, I have all the LED lights, the work lights, uh, and the inside of fridge, everything, uh, even my compressor mounted to the auxiliary battery. So when I go to desert, I switch off the car, I use whatever I want to use. I don't have the problem of draining the main battery, so I don't have any charge left. So the system automatically uh, decides to delink and link it in case, in case, uh, like how it happened in Mr. Beat scenario that the main battery is low, but charges it in auxiliary battery. I can link the function in the IBS to uh, jumpstart. Uh, the battery and make sure I get more power. Yeah, and you also have an additional function. Okay, besides the link function, what is linking the batteries for 30 minutes? You can push link for twice. Okay, and then you have a constant link for two hours. So when you have an electrical winch installed oh, to your okay. car, you need the support of your auxiliary battery. Also, so yeah. for this case, you push link twice for two hours. Both batteries are linked and are supporting the winch for best operation. Oh, so that's great. So if I want to winch, I just press it twice, and then even if I forget, the computer automatically it is separating or going back to automatic mode without that you do anything. Oh, that's good. That's good function. That's great function. Yeah, that was very informative, Mr. Beat. But I also, I heard something called the DC-DC charger system also in the market. Mm -hmm. And I want to know if uh, the new product which you have, what is the basic functionality of mm -hmm. it? Like uh, you have a new 20 a system, which is a DC-DC charger on its own. Mm -hmm. So please let me know. So on the bench here, we have the DBM 20 AS or also called the DBM 20 A without uh, solar input. Okay. It is a, a DC DC charger and dual battery manager. Okay. So it is a system that can run on its own as a starter to auxiliary battery charger or it can run in combination with the IBS DBS. Oh, okay. So the advantage is uh, for all the cars what have not a full proper charge output of the alternator. Okay. The system is really delivering a full charge. You get faster charge and battery charge on your auxiliary battery. So you say, for example, like a modern Toyota Cruiser of 2015, 2010 models, the alternator drops off the charge when you're cruising or when you're going on highway. So it takes a lot longer to charge your auxiliary battery. But with the DC-DC charger, the auxiliary battery top-up is much faster. Yeah? That's correct, because the alternator is basically just charging between 14 and 30.3 volt. Okay. But when your auxiliary battery, like Optima battery, needs more voltage, you need a DC-DC charger to get the proper full charge into your battery. Faster. A faster charge and a full charge. And for this application is the DPM20 product range. Okay, and I also noticed something regarding solar input. So what does the solar input do? Like, th does it have a regulator built in or? Yes, there are two models. Okay. The blue writing is without a solar regulator and the green writing with the DPM20 AS has a 250 watt solar input. That's the pink wire what we have here. Okay. And so you can directly hook up your solar panel to your DPM oh, and have uh, the auxiliary battery uh, charge. So you don't need an additional solar regulator. Oh, that's good. That's great. That's great. And also, uh, I don't need to have spend more money on a solar regulator and then try to find out ways to install it in the battery. If I have this system, I can make it a modular system with an Anderson plug that if I have a foldable solar panel like your new kit is coming on the 20 watt solar kit yes in stock we'll have in stock very soon and that we can just connect it whenever we need to uh, uh, that it is a DVM and without any need for extra regulators in this uh, cruiser we have uh, additional feature the RBM plus installed what we see here on this installation here it is uh, additional equipment to the IPS DPS system and what it does, it is extending the functionality range of the IPS DPS system. So it is all about the emergency link function. With the classic IPS DPS installation, you can do emergency start as long as the starter battery shows more than 8.5 volt. So for all the situations where the starter battery can go lower than 8.5 volt, let's say down to 6 or 5.5 volt, the 
installed RBM is helping that you can still achieve a link start from your auxiliary battery. So thank you very much for the introduction. That was my pleasure. Uh, it was great to be here sure. and uh, we help you in our best possible way. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye See bye. you. Bye bye.